Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some things that I've been loving over the past couple of months. I feel like it's been forever since I last shared one of these videos, so I'm really excited to just be sitting down and chatting about products. But I have a lot of makeup, there's skincare, and of course there's hair care. So let's just get started. All right, so the first product that I have to mention is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. This has completely transformed my makeup game. It literally makes my under eyes look pretty close to flawless. It's amazing. So I have a lot of like blue and green tones on the inner corner of my eyes and underneath my eyes. So this product just helps to correct that and it really brightens up my under eyes. Some days I will just wear this and I really look like awake and refreshed. It's amazing. And then other days I pair this with my concealer and the two together are truly magic. They really kind of even out my under eyes and help give them this like nice flawless finish. So the concealer that I have been loving is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the color Nude. How did I not know about this concealer? It's amazing. Typically I use the Bye Bye Under Eye, but it's on its last leg. So I wanted to try something new. So I picked up this one and I love it. First of all, the amount of product that you get for the price is incredible. And secondly, the formula is amazing. The smallest amount goes the longest way. I just apply a tiny bit underneath my eyes. I blend it out with my beauty blender and it completely conceals my under eyes, especially paired with that Becca under eye corrector. It's amazing. And although this is full coverage, it looks very natural on the skin, which is what I look for in my makeup. And I do set this with a little bit of powder, but lasts all day long. It does not budge. It barely creases. Like I could rave on and on about this concealer. I really love it. So next favorite is the nude sticks all over face color. Now I love nude sticks. They're right up my alley when it comes to makeup. And I own these in a couple of colors, but I've been loving the Naughty and Spice color for fall. It's just like the perfect rosy nude color. It's so beautiful. Now it looks quite bold when you swatch it, but what I like to do is just put it onto my fingers and then I warm it up in between like this and it just helps to sheer out the product. I'm actually wearing it on my cheeks today, but I'll just pat on a little bit more. But I just find that this gives my skin like a really natural rosy color, which I love, especially in the winter time since my skin is a little bit paler. So I really like this to just kind of brighten up my complexion because it looks really pretty. And then any excess on my fingers, sometimes I'll just pat it onto my lips and I find it really just ties the whole look together. But yeah, really been loving this color for fall. It's beautiful. So speaking of lips, I have some new lip favorites. And the first one is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in Pillow Talk. Now I feel like I'm late to the game on this one. And if you're late to the game on this one too, this is just the most perfect nude lip liner for every day. But I love this shade. It's very similar to my natural lip color. It's a little bit darker and a little bit rosier. But what I like to do is use this to just subtly overline my lips and I find that it looks really natural and blends out really well. So sometimes I'll just line my lips with this to make them look a little bit fuller. I'll just pop on some gloss and I'm good to go. But lately I've been pairing this with a lipstick. It's what I'm wearing today. So, so the lipstick that I've been wearing lately is the Shiseido Color Gel Lip Balm. And this is in the color 111 Bamboo. It's like this beautiful nude color. When I read the name, that's what sold me just because it's this beautiful sheer nude color. I knew it'd be perfect for every day and the formula is so creamy, but yeah, I've been loving pairing these two together. Look how beautiful that is. It's just this nice like sheer wash of color, but I really love the formula of this. I find it super comfortable. It's hydrating, which is especially important right now because it's basically winter already here. So it's really important to have something on my lips that doesn't dry them out. And yeah, paired with the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner, I just think it's like the perfect everyday combination. It's a little bit lighter, so it just helps add dimension to my lips, and I think it gives them a more like fuller appearance. So yeah, I've really been loving this. It's the perfect everyday lipstick. Next is the Real Techniques Everyday Essentials Brush Kit. I had to mention this because how often do you see brush kits where you're genuinely gonna use every single makeup brush every day, right? But I love these brushes. They're so soft. You get four in the kit along with a makeup brush. 
brush, <laughs> makeup sponge, and this retails for less than $30 Canadian. Plus I got a bonus sponge with mine with this case, which is amazing. So keep your sponge nice and clean. But I pretty much use these every single day. I've really been loving this 402 brush just for setting my under eyes. It just fits perfectly underneath and it's really easy to apply products. And then the 400, this brush is so soft. I wish you could feel it, but I really love this to apply my bronzer. I just find it applies powder products really natural looking and just gives my skin like a really natural glow. I used it today, hence why they're also uh, dirty. But really love these brushes. If you're in the market for some new makeup brushes, then I would definitely recommend these ones. Next up is the Ordinary's Hyaluronic acid. Now this product has been the light that I need during these cold, dark months. If I had to pick one favorite out of all of these products, it would be this one. It has completely transformed my skin. Like I saw instant overnight results with this. So typically I have like pretty good skin in the summer and then as soon as fall and winter roll around, it's a whole new battle. So I introduced this into my AM and my PM skincare routine and it has completely transformed the texture of my skin. Now typically I get like dry patches on the sides of my nose, in between my eyebrows, underneath my eyes, and then this just results in like cakey, separated looking makeup. So once I introduced this into my skincare routine, it completely eliminated any dry spots and it really helps with the look of my makeup. But if you're somebody that struggles with dry skin, maybe you don't wanna invest in like a pricey serum, I totally get that, then I would highly recommend this Product. I think this retails for like under $6 Canadian and yeah, it's amazing. So let me know if you've tried it and let me know if you get your hands on it. Next is the Bath and Body Works Ultra Shea Body Cream in the scent Winter Candy Apple. Mm, this smells so good. Now I did receive this as a gift at their holiday event, but I do purchase these every single year because I do have dry skin. So I moisturize after every single shower. So I go through a lot of body lotion, but I really love this one. It leaves my skin smelling incredible. It's super soft and moisturized and it dries down very quickly. So I'm able to get dressed right away and just go about my day. But I once heard that Rihanna layers her scent. So now I layer my scents too. <laughs> Okay, so very quickly, I wanted to mention my new background as one of my favorites because this is going to allow me to create content whenever I like. Now, I used to rely on the sun to film and uh, let me tell you, the sun is not very dependable, especially with winter coming. I would only have a couple of hours to film and shoot per day and that's if it was a sunny day. So it's very difficult to film in the winter time. So I decided I am not dealing with that this year and I invested in some new lights and I put together this background, which I'm super happy with because I'm going to be able to film whenever I like and I no longer have to depend on the sun. But I would love to know your thoughts. Should I change anything? Should I add anything? Did you prefer the old background? Let me know, I would love to hear your feedback. So next, huge shout out to these Olaplex products for helping my hair during these cold, dry months. I've been using number three, four, five, and six. I actually picked these up in the Sephora holiday collection. I really hope it's still available because it's such a great way to get your hands on all of these products for less. Okay, so I've been using number three for years. This is my old one, it's basically empty, but I try to use this about once every two weeks and this is just a hair mask and it just leaves your hair feeling so strong and healthy. I really love it. And then this was my first time trying their shampoo and conditioner. And I know it looks like I barely use them, but the smallest amount goes the longest way. And these really leave my hair just so shiny and soft. I really love them. And I probably use these like every other time that I wash my hair. And then every single time that I wash my hair, I've been using the number six bond smoother. So this is a leave-in reparative cream. Now, again, the smallest amount goes the longest way. When I first apply this, it makes my hair feel a little bit sticky, but then once I blow dry it, I am left with like the shiniest, softest, 
healthiest looking hair. I always make my boyfriend touch it. I'm like, feel my hair, it's so soft. So yeah, really been loving this one. But I get so many questions about my hair care routine and honestly, it's forever changing. So I thought maybe I could share a video that is like my five to 10 hair products that I can't live without, or I could share like my tips for long hair. I don't know, let me know if that's something that you'd like to see. Another hair favorite is of course the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. This has been a staple in my hair care routine for years especially in the winter time. Really love their products. They are cruelty free. They're free of any like harsh chemicals. So it's really gentle on my scalp, doesn't irritate it. And I really love that this is lightweight yet conditioning. So it's really easy to rinse out of your hair. You don't have to worry about it leaving behind like any residue. But I try to hair mask once per week especially in the winter time because my hair is a lot drier. So I will apply this the night before I know that I'm going to be washing my hair. Sometimes I'll leave it in my hair while I go to the gym. And one time I accidentally slept in and I had to go to lunch with a hair mask in my hair. So if you do put this in the night before, just make sure you don't snooze like I did. But this hair mask is wonderful. It just leaves my hair feeling really silky and soft and bouncy and really nice. And I heard that this is really great if you have curly hair as well. And then an oldie that I rediscovered is the Chlorine Dry Shampoo with Oat Milk. Now I've tried a lot of dry shampoos and especially during the Sephora sale, I picked up some new ones that had some really great reviews. I was so excited to have a new dry shampoo favorite and I was just left disappointed. So I really need a dry shampoo one day. It's winter. I'm trying to let, wash my hair a little bit less. I don't want to dry out my scalp. And I came across this one and I forgot how much I loved this. But this just does the job. It does the job well. It sucks up the oils. It adds a lot of volume to my hair and it doesn't irritate my scalp, which is really nice. But yeah, this dry shampoo, it kind of reminds me of Batiste. I feel like the two are similar and yeah, I really love this one. It's perfect for those in between washing days when you just need a little perk. All right, so that's it for my fall favorites. I truly hope that you liked today's video and I'd love to know what you're currently loving for fall in the comments below. I'd also love to know what you want me to include next time. Do you wanna know like what books I'm loving, food, fashion, less makeup, more hair. I don't know, let me know. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and click that like button if you like today's video and I will talk to you next time, bye.